How did it feel to win the uh, Offensive Player of the Week award there? That was pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think it's a recognition of our offense. Um, you know, it takes all 11 guys to be able to get recognized that way, and uh, credit goes to our team. What's your uh, your breakdown of Joe Burrow's style? Gain, you know, walk in style, the fur coats, the chains. That's just like no, he got it. He got it. Like, that's it. like an anti you. No, I mean he got it all. <laughs> he got lost the coat. Um, I like to say I could, yeah. you know. Uh, he's got it all figured out, you know what I mean? Um, great player, guy that's um, played at a high level now for a few years, going back to college. Um, yeah, he can he can do whatever he wants, really, to be honest with you. You talk a lot about being who you are, being genuine, and that's sort of, he's kind of the other end of that. That's just him, right? And, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I, I think at the end of the day, you just got to be who you are. Um, you know, and I got to give credit to him. He's played at a high level, and he continues to be himself. On the field, what do you see from him that well, I think looking back even to his rookie year, um, I thought they threw it a bunch. And for a young player to take kind of the onus of the offense that way, it's not easy. Um, so I, I think from a guy that's played at this level, that's looking at him, I think he's done a great job of just continuing to grow every single year. Um, but he does a great job getting the ball out. They do. They got a lot of good playmakers that once they get the ball in their hands, they do a lot of good things with it. And I think he understands that. So. The more he gets the ball out, the better he plays, and I, I think he's done it at a high level. Marcus, after they went 4-11 and 11 and then flipped it to the Super Bowl, do players around the league now think, well, hey, maybe it doesn't take you know that long to rebuild. Maybe you know, uh, there are possibilities now that didn't used to be for teams like the Falcons. Right. I, I think you just got to take it one week at a time, right? Um, and you got to get hot at the right time. I thought Cincinnati, uh, towards the end of last year, going into playoffs, they were probably the hottest team in the league. And I think the end of the day, you just got to get in the tournament. Um, and that's what we talk about all the time. The fact of the matter is, if you can play well and get yourself into the tournament, anything kind of goes. Um, and they're a great example of that. I know you credit the offense to getting the award, but does it feel kind of good? I mean, after not starting for a while and, and getting this again, first time since 2018, to kind of be recognized like, you know, by the league again? I don't, I don't even, honestly, I don't put a lot of into it. Um, you know, I'm just happy we won the game. And you know, that's what I'm here is to help these guys um, reach their potential, and hopefully we can win some more games and, and get where we want to go to. So there's no, there's no symmetry at all when you're headed from week six to week six? No, I, I think... You talked about it on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously there was a little bit of emotion going into that game for me. Um, but, I mean, to say that makes me feel great. I mean, we won the game. That's what makes me feel good. Um, at the end of the day, it's a long season. Um, and it's going to take a lot more of team performances like that to get where we want to go. Marcus, one of the things that you've talked about and Coach Smith has talked about is you being comfortable in this offense to this point through six games. Where do you feel like your level of comfort is? I, I feel great. And um, like you said, I think week to week it's kind of gotten better. Um, for not playing for a couple of years, it's kind of getting back into the, the rhythm of things. Um, and I appreciate Art and those guys kind of helping me get through that. Um, but now I feel, I feel great. I think this offense, um, we do a lot of different things, so depending on who we're playing this week, um, you know, maybe we might throw it, maybe we might run it. I just think that we got a lot of versatility that allows us to create advantages. And we can hear in there right now, everyone's always having fun around here. You can tell the, t the culture is kind of changing. What is it like from your vantage point exactly what the culture is around here right you now? You said it's a lot of fun. It's fun coming to work. Um, I've been in teams where it's not so, so fun, right? You're just kind of coming in and doing what you feel like you got to do. Um, but we got a lot of great relationships in here. And guys, at the end of the day, are playing for each other, and I think that means a lot more once you get on the field. What makes it so fun? Uh, again, it, I, for me, I'm, I'm an older guy, so to be around some of these guys that, um, you know, they're always playing ping pong, or always shooting hoops, it's always competitive. I think that's what makes it fun is we can, or day in and day out, it's competitive, and guys are always trying to get the better one another. From, from your vantage point, when you're, say, when Kyle's a primary in your league, what are you seeing when you look toward Kyle in terms of throwing? throwing to him and making the decision to throw to him or check away from him? Um, <clears throat> I think, for one, it, it's understanding, like, Kyle, Kyle's going to be open even if he is kind of somewhat covered. You just got to get him the ball. <laughs> um, so I think he does a great job, no matter what, of winning some of these 50-50 contested uh, catches. It's on me to give him more opportunities. Um, but I think as we get going, as the season continues to progress, uh, we'll find ways to get him the football. Is that something that you noticed the first few weeks of the season? like? where maybe as you were getting comfortable in the offense, 
you weren't maybe going to him even if you, it was like a situation like you said where it was like he's open even if he's not where you're still learning that was that part of it i think that's part of the process right um you know it was talking it's never going to be perfect and you know that's what art and coach rags talk about all the time um i think if i'm out there trying to be perfect i play a little too robotic um so just continuing just to grow in that aspect and you know I, as as we continue to go forward um Kyle's going to win his one-on-one -on -one matchups. We, we know that. We understand that. And it's just finding ways to get him into those opportunities so that he can get the ball. I know you weren't asked to pass a whole lot in the win over the 49ers. It was just 14 times. Obviously, you were efficient, or we wouldn't be talking about you being NFC Offensive Player of the Week. But when you go back and you look at the film, what were you liking in your pass game? Um, I, I just think that just taking what they, they gave it. I think that was kind of the the theme throughout the week. Um, the 49ers on defense, does a, they do a great job of just kind of making you take some underneath routes, um, you know, maybe not getting some of those big explosive plays and trying to stay patient. Um, so for the most part, being able to be efficient, um, kind of staying ahead of the chains, allowing us to uh, con convert a lot of third downs, I think that was what was most important. And um, at the end of the day, we got the job done. That theme of uh, taking what the defense gives you guys. That was something that Charles London, we were talking to him about today, and he kind of said that's a way that this offense can become and be sustainable. Is that something that you think not only was just a theme of this last week, but could be a theme overall the offense as a whole? It could be, for sure. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, being efficient at this position is being able to get the ball out and let our guys make plays. Um, but you also got to understand there's a happy medium. We have to be able to take shots down the field. Otherwise, teams start to load the box. It gets heavy. It's hard to run the football. It's hard to do a lot of different things. Um, so it's kind of finding that balance, making sure that you know we are taking smart shots, but also being efficient in getting the ball up. Throughout your career, who taught you to be the dynamic runner that you are? Like I was talking with Seth and Bennett in Georgia, and it was his grandfather back in the day in high school. So like, was there anyone at some point that was like, use your legs too, this is going to take you somewhere? I, I, it's actually kind of funny. Um, my dad and my brother constantly um, have been reminding me to use my legs since really since college. I think when I first got in the league, I was so adamant about being a player from the pocket, a guy that can kind of do everything from the pocket. Um, and I really kind of lost my legs a little bit. And, um, you know, with my brother and my dad always kind of reminding me to use my legs, I think it's been great for me to be able to, to get back out there and, and play a little more like myself. What's your assessment of the uh, Bengals' safeties, uh, Von Bell and uh, Jesse Bates, and what they do and operate on that defense? Yeah, I think um, they, they're playing at a high level. Um, you know, seeing on tape, they do a great job disguising coverages. Um, they also do a great job of running to the football and getting an added hat into the run game. Um, so for our, our young receivers, you know, it's going to be a tough assignment, especially in the run game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, those guys have been playing at a high level now for a couple of years. I think we talk weekly about you playing confidently, and it keeps getting easier, obviously, as the weeks go on. But aside you getting another opportunity of being a starter in this league, what's changed for you here that you're able to play more confidently and just really uh, take advantage of the opportunity that you have? Yeah, it starts with the constant communication um, between myself, Art, Rags, and really the offensive staff. And then from there, being able to kind of relay it to the guys. So um, I always felt that if you can teach it, you know, you understand it a whole lot better. Um, so being able to work through those lines of communication so that everybody feels confident when they get in the field. Talking about lines of communication, uh, with this offensive line, how have you seen kind of your understanding of the way they play and their understanding of the way you play kind of morph and change over the course of the first six games? Um, that's a great question. And, <laughs> um, because I think it is tough, right? Like especially a guy that runs around a little bit in the back, um, you know, to sustain some of their blocks, maybe sometimes longer, or they sometimes don't really understand where you're at. Um, so I think these guys have done a great job of, you know, playing with high effort and understanding that, you know, I might be somewhere where you're not expecting me to be, and they've done an unbelievable job. So um, as we continue to go through the season, I think we'll find ways to be more comfortable so that maybe I'm scrambling out. They understand where I'm going. Um, that way they can protect it, and we can create some more explosives. We talk about your dad and your brother reminding you. Did they play, or, like, what was – and what is that? No, nah, that's – Like, are they – No, my, my brother um, – He's always been kind of my biggest supporter. My dad has always been not only my biggest supporter, but also my biggest critic. And um, whenever I've played a football game, whether it's been practice, whether it's been in college, like the first people I call really are them just to kind of almost like replay the game and go through it in my head. So um, 
<laughs> their, their first instinct to me is always like, well, you could have ran for it on third and four. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, they're playing with a spy. You know, they're doing different things. So, like, you know, it, it, it's kind of cool because um, my brother now is, he's playing overseas. He's playing in, in England and playing in these. He's actually playing quarterback now. Um, so to be able to have conversations with him about it uh, has been fun. And then my dad's been my biggest coach and my biggest supporter forever. So to be able to talk through things with him, scenarios has always been good for me. And it's almost like a comfort thing when I'm able to talk to him. So now that he's playing quarterback, do you call him to tell him the run? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's running the veer, so he's running the run. <laughs> <Okay. laughs>